Let's speak about storage technologies in general before exploring the AWS storage services. There are three main types of storage technologies. The first one is known as block storage, and you have been using it already on your personal computer. Your PC has a hard disk attached to it, this disk is partitioned into some partitions. The main partition, in the case of Windows operating system, would be partition C, which is what you boot your machine from. The disk can be divided into other partitions as well, like partitions D and E to store different types of data. What happened behind the scenes is that your operating system has formatted this hard disk and divided it into small chunks of equally readable and writable storage blocks, thus it is called block storage. The size of every block depends actually on the file system type or the format of your operating system. In the storage technologies field, this kind of technology is also well known as direct attached storage. Similarly, your servers and EC2 instances need storage disks or volumes to be directly attached to them to format them with their own format and use them to boot from or to read and write data to. The second storage technology is file storage. Imagine your laptop that you use at work, you have on it your local drives which we have explained as block storage, but you might have also extra mapped network drives. These are shares that are shared with you and your colleagues at work to have concurrent access to it and share data between you. These shares are reachable over the network and are hosted on a device known as the file server. Clients connect to this file server to read and write using a specific protocol like NFS in the case of Linux machines and SMB in the case of Windows machines. In the storage technologies field, this kind of technology is also well known as network attached storage. Similarly, your servers and EC2 instances might need access to shared storage over the network to have concurrent access to the same datasets. The final type of storage technologies is known as object storage, and this is the newest one of them, and it is usually associated with cloud deployments rather than on-premises deployments. In this scenario, your servers, and even your external users, would like to access, over the internet, a repository, where they can read and write data of any type from a cost-effective, high-performing, and very scalable storage media, without the need to use a special protocol for that. Just use the same traditional HTTP protocol. We will discuss object storage in much more detail in the next videos.